Right, I'm going to do a review, stroke kind of video about a new product that's sort of come out on the market called Sterilock, which is a, a new type of airlock. Um, everyone's familiar with, you know, like that style of airlock. But this new style of airlock um, on the packet claims no contamination, no odours, no valves, no water, no worries. Um, basically, what you get is there's three bits in the packet. There's that little part. Give that in focus. That's the bit that goes into your fermentation vessel, then the little lid that goes on top of that. So you've got that kind of little hat on the lid. And there's also another part, I'll just pull that bit off, which is a, a little capsule. So on its own, you just have that little lid that sits just a little bit proud above the that bit there. And there's like a valve in between um, which allows the CO2 to escape um, but also according to the website won't allow contaminants to come through the other way as well so you can actually bottle from your fermenter or siphon from your fermenter without the worry of the, the suck back of it pulling air or other stuff through the airlock now in this bit is like a little um, odour trap odor absorbing capsule and that just goes then you don't you don't need the, the the other little lid for that bit then that just sits on top like that now the the science aside for me um the main thing for me was this this odor capsule um when i brew and i ferment in my flat um i get a lot of complaints um that it can be quite smelly if i'm dry hopping it can you know have odors in the in the flat or I guess if you was, you know, lagerin, you could have a very sulfury type yeast, and uh, you know, it can, those smells could emanate into the room a little bit, even if you are using a, you know, an airlock. Um, but I did use this, and I tested it out, and I had a very hoppy beer. Um, it was dry hopped as well, and there was no odours whatsoever coming through, and you you couldn't you couldn't smell it at all. Um, I guess you could probably say that you know it was. A, of a concern because you don't you don't see no activity in the airlock, but they are actually going to produce a version which allows you to see that fermentation is taking place. I don't know exactly what way they're going to implement that, but for me it wasn't really a concern. You know, as you know, as, as long as the, it's got a tight seal in the fermenter and that bit's doing its job, it's fine. When you do kind of if you sort of shake, you can hear like a little. There are some sort of little crystals in there. Or something. I'm not quite sure how that works or what it is. I guess it's just like there's a filter part there, and there's probably some kind of I don't know the little the little crystals that absorb the smells and that. And they say that's good for one sort of average brew. I mean, I don't know. You could probably squeeze another one out of it, but you know, depending. I guess depending on how. I mean, it doesn't really doesn't really smell afterwards. You know that it's. That it's had beer going up, you know, or not beer going up for it, but um, sort of CO2 or any kind of like sulfury. So, I guess you could probably use it again, but I think they advise that it's a you know one brew length only. Um, and that part of it, they say, is virtually like indestructible due to the, the plastic it's made of, and you can reuse it. There is the little seal in there, I think you can, it tells you how you can pop that out and reinsert it. Um, they basically just say after you know a standard brew length you would um, put that in sanitise I think for 30 minutes before reusing it for the next one. They do advise that you don't use them for um, fermentations that are going to you know have caused serious sort of you know blow offs and that you'd use your blow off tube and that because it's going to one ruin the need for that and you're going to get that really gunked up. So you know it's going to be for sort of in vessels where it's a little bit tame or you know it's not going to rise above the, the level of where the airlock is and also if you was aging beer I guess as well you could uh, you could have them in there another another plus point of it is the size if you compare that to a traditional airlock the, the size that it takes up if you're sort of fermenting in a small space you know my brew fridge when it's got the stainless steel fermenter in it, there's, there's very little space. I mean, most of the time I use a, a blow off tube, but if you, know, if you didn't want to, you could use that even more so when it doesn't have the, the odor absorbing capsule on. That's probably 
at most probably two inches I'd say when you compare that I mean that's almost the top part of that airlock in comparison so it, it takes a very minimal space which I think is you know great if you're you know tight on space and and you want to save some room again with that in it's probably taking it up to about I don't know three inch at the most maybe two and a half again it's perfect but for me I can't fault it and I I think I would probably invest in future odor absorbing capsules due to the fact that you know I'm not going to get moaned that because you know people complain about the smells and that and it, it really did do the job certainly protected the beer there was no off flavors or infections or anything like that so yeah definitely check it out it's the Sterilock um, I think there's going to be there's quite a few retailers that have started stocking it but definitely check it out you get a little, little packet that it comes in it tells you on the back it says the Sterilock contains a patented nano seal that allows CO2 gases to safely vent while preventing any contaminants including bacteria to enter the fermentation vessels it says to remove fermentation odour simply remove the Sterilock lid and fit the optional odour absorbing capsule each is good for an average brew uh, simple to maintain, simply soak in standard sanitising solution after use. And I think it's it's quite good. I think it's you know a nice little product to hit the market. Definitely check it out. Cheers.